Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Polo Sword, where, oh my gosh, the strongest final boss ever was just introduced into the game, as well as so many other amazing changes. Now, before we go ahead and try to defeat the final boss, which I don't think we could do because we're actually too weak, which is crazy, I thought I'd go ahead and take a look at some of the other small updates that were added. Give us a strength boost, the first of which is a new code, and I think it is just Hydra update. There we go. One mega potion. I will take that. Thank you very much. Next up, in the profile section, there's this new items button, which we've never had before, but it should just allow us to, whoa, see everything we have in the game. Apparently, we have a super rebirth mythic coin, which I didn't even know we had. We have 100 credits, some energy left for the season, and we have gifts. I didn't even know we had gifts. Holy crap, we have 15 double XP server boosts. That is nuts. And then a bunch of our potions. Okay, so that's actually helpful. I'm realizing we had some items that I never even knew about. Let me go and crack open these gifts. Some ice, what the heck, an ice phoenix, a lava phoenix. Phoenix. Are these even good? 5 million, 6 million. Not bad. Not too shabby. Let's crack open the rest. Another lava and ice phoenix. Ice wizard. A bunch of ice wizards. Are these even good bets? Ice wizard. Whoa, they look sick. They're not great. We can craft them into a gold, but unfortunately still, that's not going to make its way onto our team. And then we have one prestige gift, which is the queen pets. Uh-oh, what is this going to be? 12 million base multiplier. Pretty sick. I'm not even sure where those gifts came from, but I'll take it. There's also the snoo secret spin wheel in the ocean you just swim up here to the top and whoa wait what is this obtain from defeating enemies in the ocean world we already have wait can we spin this no we need 10 ocean crystals and then we have a chance at getting a 10x metal some potions and then what is that what is that boost right there it's like the pet looking one it's a shiny server boost okay i didn't know that existed and i actually don't really care for it at all but let me see if we just uh try to auto fight real quick is there any bosses let's try to auto fight the hardest world boss and we go ahead and get an ocean crystal. I also did see in the patch notes, they made it to where if you're super, super strong, then you can actually go ahead and defeat a boss in one click. So let me go try that out. We've been smoking the lazy fish so far, but let me fight it. Oh my gosh. I literally clicked my mouse once and we just absolutely sauce the lazy fish. Now I want to get 10. So that way we can uh, go and spin this. So I guess we'll just keep AFK until we get 10 of those crystals we were looking for. All right, we went a little overboard. We got 13 ocean mythic crystals. So let's go swim back up to the top and give this lucky wheel a spin. I really hope one of these days I can I can actually get lucky and uh, have a chance at getting one of these medals because it'd be super clutch because that'd be a really solid strength boost. And we're gonna get close, but close doesn't cut it. it whoa, it actually looks like we could spin this wheel five times, which is pretty nice. Previously, you can only spin the wheels in each world once. Let me actually go check out the, uh, let's go check out the desert island because if they did this change in all the worlds, that would be really cool. Let me go hop over. Where is it? Over here to the side. We're stuck on the ledge. There we go. Check out the uh, secret boss here because last time that was my main like issue with this wheel. Ah, oh, dang it. So interesting. This is still, you need the pieces to spin and you can only spin uh, once per, I guess, day, which is really unfortunate. So I like the new style of the, the wheels. We could spin five times in a day. And while we're hopping around worlds, let's go check out world three because I think there's also a new shop, the ring store over here, which now you can use wind to go ahead and purchase rings within the game. You still can use Robux to purchase some rings, but using wins to buy rings is insane because a 10x click multiplier is nuts. Completely free to play, getting a 10x strength boost is like unheard of in the game. And so for me, unfortunately, the rings, they're not really gonna help us out because as you can see, we already have some really, really insane rings. And on that note, let me make sure we equip best because we're gonna need to train a lot of strength here just in a second. And I wanna make sure we have the best things equipped. And also here in World 5, I believe there's another huge strength upgrade. I just gotta go find it. Okay, it's right here at the bookstore. They've done the same thing where you could use wins to just outright okay, we, there we go. You can say, why can't we purchase? You can just outright purchase really OP books. I think the fire book and the sun book can be purchased with wins and maybe the victory book as well. Maybe I just already had them from previously grinding the game, but that is crazy. That is lit. If you, if you had no rings or a bad ring and a bad book before you just use wins, that could be like a 50x strength upgrade and I'm not even kidding when I say that just from spinning wins in the game. So that is fantastic. Unfortunately, again, we can't take advantage of it. And apparently one last big change. This is like the biggest change. And also one last update I really want to check out is apparently there's a new egg opening animation. Oh, dang it, dude. Wait, because I have a skip on. Oh, wait, I have the faster hatch game pass. It's just, <laughs> I don't know what the egg opening animation is. I'm sure it looks great. Uh, I guess we're just never going to know because I have that game pass purchase. Dang it. But all of these new changes, I think were made in preparation for the new strongest final boss that the game is 
has ever seen and that is going to be located all the way in world number nine the underworld this world has been out for i want to say like two ish months now maybe even three months been quite a while since it's been out but the entire time over here this area was blank there's no bosses there was nothing to check out until this week where we have the new three-headed hydra mega boss that just looks ridiculous i mean we can't run around it but it is compared to me this thing is like a thousand times my size it should absolutely crush me but apparently we need a hundred q and d strength to defeat it now it's kind of hard to explain but due to some game passes that i have uh, on my account i only need around 10 percent of the recommended strength to beat these bosses so i really only need around 10 q and d strength to beat the boss and well we've got 12 so i think there's a chance that right now for the first time i could fight this boss and actually have a chance of beating it but we're gonna get the auto clickers set up so that way i don't have to manually click and try to beat this boss head on it looks like there's gonna be three difficulties normal hard and chaos which i do want to try to train up more strength today to beat me with a heart and potentially the chaos boss but the normal boss 100 q and d strength put on the auto clicker and we are actually gonna be able to smack it that is crazy we level up as well and we do get a new hydra metal where is that gonna be i'm actually curious what uh, multiplier it is it is going to be a 2.4 x strength multiplier pretty solid which brings our total metal boost up to 193.65 which is absolutely wicked but the next version of the boss 500 Q and D strength. Oh my gosh. Now I kind of mentally prepared for that because I imagine the boss is just going to be super ridiculously difficult to beat, which is okay because we've been preparing the last few updates for this moment, getting super strong, getting some insane items like the 50 X aura. We have the 40 X ring, 35 X book, all of our medals and our sword. Of course, we've been going crazy. And with the pets, our total team is up to 6.1 billion multiple player again like i said we are ready for this but we're also gonna take it one step further by seeing if we can't get a little bit lucky with the current endless pack that is in the game if you don't know these packs are basically you take a chance every time you unlock a pack you're guaranteed to get some reward but it's really up to the game and up to your luck to see what type of reward you can get currently there's a 600 million multiplier pet there is an 85 multiplier sword uh books medals op stuff all around and also i will take these server boosters these these two extra server boosters because i was gonna buy these anyways uh, maybe this is where these gifts came from ah okay maybe we'll save these uh for a big opening at some point in the future but i just i i i, I oh let's go i was gonna say i always like to just try and test my luck at least with the first few passes because no freaking way for 400 robux we're gonna get the 600 million train pet and we're also gonna get the 250 million panda pet 850 million multiplier and pets in one go is absolutely insane and some extra glory points and an extra world booster which is fantastic because again i was gonna buy this anyway so i didn't think we're gonna get lucky but man oh man did we just crush it oh no way and oh, two of the most powerful swords in the entire game our current best sword is this 85x multiplier piano glaive which is already nothing don't get me wrong this is so wicked but bro are you kidding me are you kidding me we're gonna get the strongest pet the second strongest pet and we're gonna get a medal and two why is there two of the strongest swords for 650 robux he just can't make this up this is i'm usually never this lucky but wow i <laughs> i didn't think that was possible i gotta take a screenshot of that oh my gosh it never ends it never freaking ends i wasn't gonna drop this many robux but it just doesn't what is happening? And all of these pets, 60 million multiplier. These are crazy. Now, the, the book in question, I don't need this book because we already have a 30. Wait, actually, I do. A 35x and a 37x book. I mean, hey, if I can get a 47 multiplier book for any Robux, that's a good deal to me. That's a good deal. Get on in there. Okay, I promise this is the last pack I'm buying unless I see that ring. Actually, we already have the ring. And that'd be, oh my God, it's another one. Another train pet. Oh my gosh. It's for free. It's free. I don't even have to buy it. No no way oh my gosh what has just happened what has just happened the luck was insane they knew i was about to go up against the toughest hydra boss this game has ever seen and they said you know what quacks here you go here's the most luck you're ever gonna get in this endless pack wow okay so to recap we just got a ton of new pets to throw on the team our current boost is an 81.8 tdd so i just want to throw that out there before applying everything our boost is 81.8 tdd let's go ahead and put on our pets which are up to a 7.7 .7 billion total 
pet stats. That brings us up to 102 TDD per click, but we haven't thrown on the best book. Let's put on the best book. That's 120 TDD, and we're gonna keep on going again. We already got the medal. We should have that new best sword to chuck on the toy box sword. We're getting 127 TDD per click. Oh my gosh. We went from 80 to like 130. That is almost a freaking 50% strength boost right there. I, that is nuts. That is so insane. Now, I do want to note that we already have a strength potion and a mega potion equipped. So our, our strength that was already really insane. And there's not really anything else we could do to get more strength other than applying some 2X strength server boost potions. Now, these are not potions, but that server boost. This right now, we're getting 255 TDD per click. And whenever we auto train, let's actually uh, auto click right now. You can see our strength is actually going up pretty fast. Now, I don't know exactly how much strength we're going to be able to, to get over the next few hours because what I'm about to do is do 25 server boosts. So that way we can get a level three server boost, which will give us an additional 350% strength boost. So we should be getting almost one, I guess, DD per click, which will just be astronomical. Now, unfortunately, because of the way these server boosts work, if I leave this server, actually, I'll just show you. If I leave the server and join back another server, then you'll see that I no longer have that 2x server boost. And so while I would love to apply all of the server boosts right now and show you guys how much strength we're getting per click, if I leave the server and join another one, like on my laptop, where I normally do all my AFK, well, then I'm, I'm just going to lose all of my boosts. But I will go ahead and purchase all of the different boosts we need. It is pretty slow, but we need, I think, 25 boosts in total. And then on my alt account, I'll go ahead and slap all these on. We'll get the insane boost. And then I think this will be around 12 hours of grinding we're going to do. And then we'll basically just wake up in the morning, see how much strength we have, and pray it's enough to be at least the hard version of the Hydra because I'd love to get that medal and I'd love to be one step closer to beating the final mega boss in the entire game. So let me go purchase the rest of the server boost real quick and I'll be right back. There we have it. 25 2x server boost, which is how much we need to get that maximum level 3 350% strength in boost. This is going to be absolutely ridiculous. I can't wait to see the final results. And well, for you guys, it's going to take just a few seconds, but for me, it's going to take around 12 hours. So we're going to get to grinding afk overnight and i'll catch up with you guys in just a few seconds with the final results of our insanely op afk session oh my gosh it's been a full 12 hours and well we managed to get way more strength than i thought i initially thought i was gonna get like okay 50 maybe 60 q and d 500 q and d bro what are you even talking about without any sort of game passes we could just instantly beat the hard hydra boss that's crazy i think we're actually gonna be able to beat the final boss here in Bull sword I what dude oh my gosh we're getting so much strength all because of that 350 percent boost we're actually just joined a random server and we're like halfway to another full boost as well which is nuts but guys we spent all night if gang and i can't wait let's go ahead and try to defeat okay well not even try but basically instantly defeat the hydra boss just a few clicks oh my gosh oh my gosh now i do want to see can we level up we do have a mega potion a double xp potion and then we can do a double xp server boost i just want to see can we keep leveling up because that's more strength for us and we get closer to a super rebirth which i'm not even sure when i'm gonna do but oh my gosh 5 sxd strength can we do it i would first beat this guy to see if we do level up just beating this and we also get the abyssal hydra piece where is that if we go to hydra there is the pixel hydra the hydra the abyssal hydra and then i'm guessing there's another final version if we're able to beat the chaos but i want to fight this guy again do we level up again we level up again nice we need 137 dvg xp okay well, again we're talking about numbers that don't even exist these are some made up numbers can we we'll level up again no way are we gonna get to level 150 this will be crazy okay so we don't level up again but we are really close and hydra i'm actually gonna beat this boss a few more times so that way we can go ahead and yeah why don't we get level 150 but i also just want to see how strong this abyssal hydra pet is we should just need to beat the boss like one more time after this have enough pieces to craft it and then we'll go try to fight the 5 sxd version so so Hydra, no, one more time. Dang, it's so freaking close. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we can craft this pet and it'll be, let me guess, 
uh, 13 million multiplier. 13 million. Whoa, 29 million is crazy. But again, realistically, if you're someone who can beat this boss, you probably already have a bunch of 29 million multiplier pets because this boss is so dang hard to beat. But let's go ahead and give a crack at the chaos boss. Oh my gosh. We're going to put on our auto clicker. Oh my gosh, we can beat it. It'll be slow. Shout out our auto clicker because there's no way I can tap this fast. Oh my gosh, there's no freaking way. I'm actually so shocked we could beat the hardest boss in the game. We level up, get to do a Hydra 3 badge. Holy crap. So if we go check, where's our items, badges? I don't even know how far down we're gonna have to scroll. Wow, 2.4, 2.7, and 3x multiplier all from the Hydra boss. That is so wicked. Did we get any more things? No, so we didn't get any. Let's go, let's go fight him again and see if we're gonna have a chance at uh, seeing how strong this pet is. I'm assuming there will be a pet, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, there is a pet, the Oblivion of Hydra piece so we need to beat this boss like eight times it's gonna be really slow so i'm just gonna go ahead and beat this boss enough times to craft this pet and see how strong the oblivion hydra is here we go i think this is gonna be the final boss we need to defeat and let me go give a check as well wow level 153 that is ridiculous where am i looking here we go hydra oh one more dang it's so close and there we have it the best pet you can possibly craft in the game and my pet inventory is full let's go ahead and make sure we delete a pet that we're not going to use the night wraith don't even know what this pet is so probably don't need it let's go take a chance the oblivion hydra i'm gonna guess 32 million 32 million multiplier right on the head let's see oblivion hydra 32.5 million man i'm just too good at what i do look at that but the funny thing is even though this is some of the one of the best pets in the game best free to play pets in the game we can't even uh, put it on our team that is so dang unfortunate but guys what Wow, new strongest boss in the game. Also, 510 QD. We could technically, we could super rebirth, but there's just no way. There's no way. There's no way. I just spent so many Robux on getting all these upgrades from the pass as well as, of course, Robux on all of the different 2x server boosts. So don't think today we're going to be making that jump, that leap into super rebirthing again, but 510 QD. This has to make me one of the strongest players in the game. I, I, I feel like it because there's no, I wonder how many people have actually beat this final boss. I mean, obviously now we're up there, but 5 SXD recommended strength, bro. Holy crap. That is so insane. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It feels Feels good to say that we have successfully defeated every single boss in Pull a Sword with ease. Okay, maybe not with ease, but we have defeated them nonetheless. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel, of course, if you guys haven't already. But with all being said, it's been boy Quacks. Thanks for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces!